You know what you came here for. Sit back and tune in for Isha Talor. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Isha Talor. Today we're gonna be trying a whole bunch of nature secrets. Is that what it's called? Hold on. Oh, I sit here laugh. Nature's little secrets. You gotta add a little. A whole bunch of their products. I've never tried their products before. I know I'm super late. I'm just kind of stuck in things I like. I'm trying this because the memorial sale was popping. So, you can see literally my hair is just, it's not, child, this Georgia weather is not playing. So, we're going to be trying the Nature Little Secret Fenugreek Detangling Pre-Poo. And it says it's made with fenugreek extract. I'm going to put the prices on the screen, but keep in mind, your girl didn't get it for that price, okay? Um, but this is a 12 ounce. That's actually a good amount. The first five ingredients is going to be distilled water infused with, hmm, don't know how to say that. I'm pretty sure it's just fenugreek, okay? Um, methylene extract, Irish moss. How many is that? Is that three? <laughs> oh my God, these words. Comfrey root, red rose, flower water. I'm just going to say all of them because it's not much. Olive oil, sunflower oil, you know, the sorb sorbic acid, things of that nature, and peppermint oil. So it's not much in here. <clears throat> Baby girl just woke up, sorry. I'm just going to show you all the things I got so you can get excited, you feel me? The Nature's Little Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Deep Conditioner made with fruit extract. So we'll talk about that more when I get to that step. Banana Leave-In Conditioner made with banana extract, which... I don't like the smell of bananas, so we're gonna, hopefully it doesn't smell too crazy. Y'all know I hate scents, okay? And we have the avocado moisture cream made with avocado oil and butter. And then two styling products. So I have the flaxseed curly custard made with flaxseed gel. And then the Irish moss styling cream made with Irish moss. So you're probably thinking, girl, you got two moisturizers, leave-ins, and two stylers. What are you going to do? Well, okay, Ambition Wright did this. She did this. So Isha Tulo is going to do this too. We're going to split the hair down the middle. I'm notorious doing this. We're going to have the banana leave-in conditioner on one side, the avocado cream on the other side, okay? And then we're going to split our hair in fours. <laughs> and we're going to be trying the Irish styling cream on... The front sections. Are you, are you feeling me? Are you still with me? Okay. And then the flaxseed curling gel in the back. Well, curling custard, I'm sorry. On the back. So again, we know how it feels with the banana cream and how it feels with the avocado cream. Because you know why? I'm impatient and I need to know how it works with all these products right off the bat. Alright, you feel me? Good. Have you subscribed yet? Because you should have at this point. Because I'm doing the most. Alright, so first up is the detangling pre-poo, and it literally says detangling, so before cleansing, distribute evenly on wet or dry hair and scalp. Leave it for five minutes and use fingers or comb to detangle it. To detangle it. <laughs> I am making up words to detangle. It's super watery. I am not going to tilt this at all. Nope. Alright, and it's it almost feels like a custard. So I have to kind of scoop this up and if you wear nails like I do. The texture reminds me of um, the African Pride Aloe and Coconut Order. I think is what it's called. Um, pre -poo. It feels just like that. I love the feeling of this. The texture feels very slippery. I'm able to finger detangle. Not so much at the roots just yet. So I might have to just, you know, reinforce it and put a little bit of water, child. Ooh, there we go. Y'all saw what my hair looked like, so this actually, wow, I'm super impressed by that. Okay, so my hair is dirty, so you kind of see like the product build up all over my hair, but my thoughts on this, I'm just going to say my thoughts like as I kind of go through the video, but this fenugreek detangling pre-poo, I actually really like it. I love how much slip it gave. Um, I love the ingredients too. And I'm pretty sure the African Pride one's ingredients is probably not that good, you know, just being honest. I also didn't use that much just because of the texture of it. I, like I said, I can't tilt it over. But I promise you, I didn't use that much. So I can see myself getting quite a lot of uses out of this. Definitely worth the price. Definitely would keep buying this. 
I like it. But <laughs> so it's the mixed fruit nutrient rich deep conditioner. First five ingredients distilled water infused with peach fruit, banana fruit, pumpkin, mango, avocado, apple. I'm just gonna say all of these. These are all like fruits and stuff. Well duh. Honey, sesame, and yeah, it's creamy. It actually feels like a curling cream more than a deep conditioner. Mm, oh my god, it smells divine. Okay, so I'm able to finger detangle. It's just literally soaking into my hair. It feels very nice. The creamy consistency literally is like, it feels really, really nice. So with a deep conditioner, there's not much I can really say until it washes out. 3,000 whoop who's later. So this is what my hair is looking like. Still very shrunken. My curls are popping though. My hair feels very moisturized. Like literally, the curls up until my roots are like super defined. So wow. I'm thoroughly impressed with this deep conditioner. I can tell that this deep conditioner has a moisture balance. Moisture balance. Has a great protein and moisture balance, which is awesome. Um, so you can limit, obviously, you know, using the amount of products each wash day. So I am not mad at that at all. So like I said in the beginning of the video, hopefully you're still tuned in because it makes sense if you are. I'm going to be splitting my hair down the middle and be using the two leave-in conditioners slash moisturizers on each side. So we're going to start off with the banana leave-in conditioner. So it will be on this side. Well, like the whole head. First five ingredients, distilled water infused with banana fruit powder, subtle alcohol, vegetable milk sulfate, slippery um, bark extract, and marshmallow extract. Ooh, that means it has slip, 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 slip. No coconut oil, love that. No glycerin, no aloe vera. Ooh, smells like a banana creamsicle. I'm not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> And it feels creamy. It feels like any leave-in conditioner, pretty much, honestly. This is straight up bananas. It is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Hmm. It was only appropriate to sing that while using this. All right. Are y'all here still, sis and gents? I hope so. So next is going to be the avocado moisture cream. And this one definitely says moisturize on it. Okay, so this one says hydrate. Well, this one says moisturize. My lights are super bright. I'm sorry. First five ingredients. Water, subtle alcohol, benchmonium milk sulfate, avocado oil, and avocado butter. This does have aloe vera juice, which is the next ingredient. Slippery elm. Okay, so pump. Love that for me. It's a tad bit thicker, but not that much thicker. I don't, I can't really tell you what it smells like, but it smells better than bananas for sure. Ooh, I feel the butter. Oh my god. It feels like I went in the fridge and grabbed the butter and put it in my hair. Which I have seen a YouTuber do that. Um, um, <laughs> wow. This feels really good. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. And it smells amazing. Wow. Come on, Isha, say more things than wow. I, mm, 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 I don't have anything else to say. Which, while these are marinating, let's talk about the next products. Irish Moss Styling Cream. I figured I'm gonna put the cream in the back section of my hair. And it's a 12 ounce, prices. And the first five ingredients is water, Irish Moss, Slippery Elm, flaxseed extract, acetyl alcohol. There is no coconut oil, no glycerin. Ooh, this is gonna be lovely. Um, it does have aloe vera ju uh, juice. I know some people hate that and it has it. Wow, that smells really good. I'm gonna be putting the flaxseed curly custard on the front section. So this custard is a 12 ounce as well. So they're both 12 ounces. And first five ingredients are water, flaxseed gel, marshmallow roots, comfrey root extract, and slippery elm. They both have slippery elm, so they should have some slippage. It does have aloe vera juice as well. No glycerin, no coconut oil. Love that for me. All right, let's start off with the banana side. It feels, ooh, my goodness, it smells strong. It feels okay. Um, This is what it looks like. And this baby is super thick. Love it. Woohoo. This combination feels 
heavenly. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, can y'all see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Hey, okay, so I've never done a twist and curl. So at what point do I stop and then put the roller on? I don't know. And my pink roller. And I think I saw someone do it like this. And then she, no, my hair's not long enough for that. We're just gonna go from the bottom. Okay. Ugh. Oh my. I always pop these. Okay, there we go. Okay. Right? I don't know. Alright, thoroughly enjoyed this application. Time for the avocado side mixed with the Irish Moss Cream. Let's see if I... Ooh, this feels a lot more moisturized than the banana cream. Okay, so because my hair already feels super moisturized, adding this styling cream, this doesn't feel any extra hydrated. It's just, it feels good. Time for the front. So we're gonna be using the flaxseed curly custard. So remember this side is the banana leave-in conditioner. So it's a custard, obviously, so it's a lot more loose. It's not sticky at all. It actually doesn't even feel like anything to me. I don't know. It feels okay. Would I use this as a wash and go? Probably not. Just because it feels really, really light. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't feel overly exciting <laughs> like the um, cream, to be honest. Much, much later. Let's look at the back section again. This is the banana leave-in conditioner mixed with the Irish Moss cream. I don't feel the hold. Uh, my hair is extremely, extremely moisturized, which I can appreciate. But I doubt this would have any type of hold in this Georgia heat. As for this twist and curl situation, I don't see the point of it. Okay, so like I said, it it's okay. This side was with the... Oh, look at these names, right? Avocado Moisture Cream and then the Irish Moss Styling Cream. Um, so it feels the same as the other side. It actually doesn't feel any different. So, avocado cream mixed with the styling. If anything, they also feel the same. This is probably a little bit drier, actually, which is shocking to me just because, I don't know, it felt more moisturizing than the leave-in conditioner. But they ultimately look and feel the same. So let's go back to this side. So this is the banana leave-in conditioner mixed with the um, flaxseed curly custard. This feels moisturized. Um, I don't feel the hold though. You could probably see like a little bit of flakes at the end of a couple pieces. And then let's now do the avocado moisture cream mixed with the custard. And it feels hydrated just like the other side so if anything the flaxseed so okay let's just talk about this real quick um I don't even think I'm gonna really stretch this <laughs> just because of how it's looking right now um in terms of the banana leave conditioner and the avocado moisture cream which one I like better I think they're both the same feel the same it's not like one shinier than the other um, or anything. They're both very hydrating. I guess it would have to come down to ingredients for you. So if you are allergic to nuts or something, then probably not the avocado cream. I would probably use the banana leave-in conditioner as a legit leave-in conditioner. Um, I really actually like this one. And then I would use this as a midweek refresher or something, just so I'm not, um, they both feel very good. Like, my hair feels very hydrated right now. In terms of the styling products, that's when it gets a little tricky for me just because... Let's talk about the Irish Styling Cream. I loved the way my curls initially looked, right? But it doesn't have hold for me. There's no, there's no um, hold or lasting power. So what I would probably do is use this cream underneath a gel... Um, or another custard for my twist outs or my wash and goes because it's super super moisturizing 
the claims of it saying leave your hair nourished, soft, and defined is true. Um, it's, it's my hair is defined, it's just not going to last, right? In terms of the flaxseed curling custard, what I'm discovering between this one and the Eco Slay one is that flaxseed flakes, right? And you have to literally like pray and hope that it doesn't. I think my favorite products by far is the deep conditioner and the leave-in conditioner and I guess the tie for the avocado moisture cream just because they feel the same. The pre is really good too but I think my favorite is like the deep conditioner and the leave-in conditioners. But um so yeah this is what it's looking like. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Thank <music> you.